Hey everybody, it's Daniel. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of debugging using the device file explorer for shared preferences and also using breakpoints. So kind of elementary stuff, but it's important to understand your app. So if you're more advanced, you may already know this stuff. If you're beginning, this might help you out. So let's get started. So what do we have here? So I have a basic UI here. Um, it's just a button and a switch. And I kind of have this idea of a dark mode going on where you can toggle dark mode on and off. So I've run the app and I can turn it on or off. And when I hit save preferences, that's when it's supposed to actually save it. So I have some code here in the main activity. Uh, we just do our standard stuff there. Actually, we do our standard stuff there. Um, then I have a method here called save preferences or I have an on click listener on that and I have save settings. This may be a little bit confusing, but we'll go over it a little bit. So every time you click on the shared preferences button, it's going to do all of that. And that just calls this method down here. It gets shared preferences with a key and a mode. It edits it. The, the important part is right here, it, uh, it sets it to dark mode. So, I'm, so we're using that. And let's go ahead and debug this. So I'm going to save it. And I think I already ran it, but I'll run it again just to make sure. And there it is. OK, I'm going to turn it on. Then I'm going to hit Save Preferences. And what we can actually do in the emulator is we can go in here to Explorer, uh, File Explorer, or whatever, device, device File Explorer. And we can actually see those shared preferences. So you want to open this up. So just select your emulator there, and it populates. Go to Data, uh, then Data, and then whatever your package name is. So in this case, it's like com.example.law. I think it's the login user. Yeah, login user. So it's this one right there. Open that up. Go to Shared Preferences. You can actually double click it to open it up. And we can see, yeah, dark mode is set to true. So great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something else here. I'm going to turn it off and save it, and then go back to here. And we're going to open back up data, and then data, and then our package name, which is like com.example. Dot. No, it's still an Android. No, here we go. Dot. Here we go. Here's a package. So com.example. Dot login user. And you can, get it, you can get it from like right there or when you sign up or you can always go to your Gradle and see what it is. But it's at the top of here. So this is what our package name is. So open it up, shared preferences, and let's go inside of here. And we see this value is still true. Well, something is wrong. So, um, so when, I turn it, when I turn it on, that worked. When I turn it off, it didn't work. Um, and I pressed the Save Preferences button, I'm pretty sure. So I turned it on, off, and then saved, but it didn't. But here it's still true. So what's going on? So something that's really cool is we can use breakpoints. So I'm going to close that for just a second. So right here, so that's our button. And every time we click on it, we're going to do that. So I want to set a breakpoint right there by just clicking next to the number. It puts a red dot there. Uh, then with the emulator up and open and running, what you need to do is hit that button right there and just hit OK. And every time the code, every, I'll just show you what happens. So I'll move that over to the right there. I'm going to talk, so it's off right now. I'm going to hit Save Preferences and see what happened in Android Studio. It made this big kind of blue line there, and it kind of stops our code there. So if you go back to your emulator, I guess there's actually not much, I guess we can't go to it. But um, what happens right here is it just stops the code. It stops. So the, your app stops. You're not able to do anything with your app. It just totally stops here. And it stops because we put that red dot there. Then what we can do, we can do something really cool. We can use like this calculator type thing there, evaluate expression, and we can do this. So see how we have dark mode dot is checked? We can do this. So dark mode dot is checked. And we can just type code there. And as soon as, as soon as I hit enter, it'll evaluate it as false. So we're getting false there. That's good. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that green button right there. That, that, that continues the app. And now it, we don't see that blue line anymore. So go back to the emulator. It's off. I'm going to hit it one more time. Now I'm going to turn it on and hit Save Preferences. And again, we got a blue line there. That means that, hey, it stopped the app there and it's just frozen until you do something. So I'm going to hit Evaluate. So that's false now. I'm going to evaluate it. And now it's true. So that's working. So to get to continue the app and to continue past the break, all you need to do is hit that green button and it continues on. So something is wrong between right here and on the Save Settings method. And you can might might be a little bit obvious to some people, but we're not using so we're passing so we're doing save 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 something, and that's going to be either true or false. Like is it checked? So is our switch there? Is that switch right there? Is it true or is it false? That's all we want to know right here. That's all we want to know. And we're and uh, so right here we're not actually using it. So we're calling save. So we have save settings there. It just goes to save settings. Then we have dark mode as a true or false. 
And I can kind of see the error right here. We're not actually using it. Let's go ahead and do dark mode and this should work. So we're actually using it right. We're, <coughs> we're actually using the variable right now because before it was hard coded to true so it would always be true. In this case, dark mode and we can do that. And that's kind of helpful and we could have put a breakpoint there and kind of seen what dark mode is then maybe realized it was all true but you can put a breakpoint anywhere like if you want to put one at the beginning of the app if you want to do something like only when you click a button so say when I click the button then it stops there it has a blue line and you can't do anything until you hit the screen that button right there then it continues the app. So very cool. So I'm going to turn it off and do say preferences and again, if we go to, we can go here, we can evaluate something. So I'll do dark mode dot is, ch uh, is checked. And you can type any code here basically. Now it's false, so that should be good. I'm gonna go ahead and continue the app. And I'm gonna go back to device explorer. I'm just gonna go ahead and select the emulator. Data, if I can find data. And then our package name. Uh, then shared preferences, and this should be it's true, that's weird. Dark mode is, did I do that? Did I, did I run it? It's off, so it should be off. Why is this dark mode? So let's debug this together. Maybe my, uh, that isn't refreshed. I'm gonna open and close it. Let's see what's wrong, dark mode. So is it checked? So it should be off there and I hit save preferences. We get, we can evaluate it together. So dark mode dot is checked and it's false there. So I'm gonna put a breakpoint right there and I'll continue it and now it goes to that line. So what now we'll evaluate um, dark mode because that's what we have. Let's see what dark mode is. Dark mode is false. So it must just be something with, uh, with the device file explorer. I'm gonna go ahead and continue that and I think this should work. So I'm gonna go ahead and just close it, open it back up again, select the emulator, data, this should work, uh, data, and then if we go inside of com.example, just find your package name. It's right here. Shared prep settings. And this is still true. I'm not sure what's going on here. Let me run it one more time. And I'm gonna go ahead and select that again. Maybe I didn't, maybe I ran it with some, oh, I ran, oh, I hadn't run it since I changed that, made that change. That's what it is. That's what it is. So when I first change this from, this used to be true, hard-coded to true. I forgot to rerun it again. So all you do is just, I did the keyboard shortcut, which is, uh, well, it's a control R. I, I don't know what it is on Windows, I forget. Uh, I do it on Mac all the time. Hit the button right there, the, either the play button or that. So just run that, it'll run the app again. So dark mode's off, I'm gonna save it. Uh, then I'm going to just select the emulator again, go to data, uh, data. Uh, one, last, one last time, let's hope this works, everybody. Let's hope this works. Shared prep settings, and it is false, so true. I mean false, so that's good. That's what we wanted. So this, the toggle is currently off and we saved it to false. So that's a little bit of debugging using the device file explorer. It's kind of cool. Um, you can like go inside of, so first, just to kind of recap, open up data, and then data again, then search for your package name, which is kind of the, the string right up there, so com.example.login user. And then uh, find that, open up shared prefs, double click it, and here it is, dark mode, that's a variable, and the value is false. So that's how you can set breakpoints. So say I wanna set a breakpoint there again, uh, all I have to do is hit the button right there and hit okay. Now whenever it gets to that line, it'll stop. So I'll go ahead and save it, and it stops on that line by giving us a blue line, and, and we can't interact with the app anymore. I guess my, we can't do it actually here, but, you can't, you can't actually do stuff with the emulator. It's, I mean, you can't actually do stuff, yeah, basically. Basically, you can't do anything. So you can evaluate stuff, click that button, you can type in, you know, what do we wanna see what activity is? Uh, we, what can we do? We can do this. Oh, we get all kinds of stuff. You, you can type anything out there. We can do like window dot, uh, you can do anything. You can just evaluate expressions there, which is kinda cool. To continue on, you just click that button right there, then it goes to the next breakpoint. Uh, you can set as many breakpoints as you want, and it'll just stop on every single one of those. So yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, it's, good for, it's great for debugging. You can like stop something and see what a value is at a certain point. And then of course the device file explorer is always cool because you can like evaluate shared preferences and see what their true values are here. So in this case, it's false, which is what we want because we turned it off there. I hope you learned something and I'll see you next time. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and on LinkedIn. 
I try and leave a comment if you have questions. I know, I know it's kind of hard for me to reply to every single comment that I get, but I try to read a lot of them. So leave a comment with feedback if you have any questions and I'll see you next time. Thanks.